But I uh, just want to get you this uh, sort of a special commentary from the insurance sector. Murugupa Group Company, Chola MS General Insurance, reported a gross written premium of 1945 crores in the first quarter. Uh, CBC TV 18's Jude Sanit spoke with managing director there, V. Surya Narayanan, who expects the company to grow at 17% this year, which will be higher than what they say is going to be the industry average at about 14%. He also highlighted uh, the uh, sort of uh, issue of 18% uh, sort of GST on health insurance and companies' growth and profitability, the roadmap there. Listen it. Our intent is to grow at least at 1.25x of industry growth, mm -hmm. which if industry grows at about 14%, then we should be growing at about 17-18%. I would leave you to do the math. All right. Profits have also been rather healthy, especially in the last couple of fiscals. What do you expect on that front? Do you expect to grow margins? Uh, what is the projection as far as profitability is concerned? So actually, the profitability has grown on two fronts. So one is our underwriting losses mm -hmm. over the last couple of years have been shrinking. Mm -hmm. Plus, the growth in business has meant that uh, the investment corpus has been on the rise. Mm -hmm. We have also been in a favorable interest rate cycle. Remember that all insurance companies are investors. They don't borrow from the market and a high interest rate regime means uh, they earn more on investment income. So this has also helped us. Uh, so together, I think this has helped us uh, shore up our uh, profit line and uh, improve our returns to investors. And how do you see this path to profitability continuing as the years roll by? See, the point is uh, interest rate cycles will uh, make the investment income, at least the debt income, uh, wobble mm -hmm. uh, based on the fluctuations. We have also been stepping up our uh, positions in equity investments, which should provide the counterweight as interest rate uh, cycles change. And uh, we do expect that our underwriting results uh, should uh, improve as we go along and our combined ratios uh, to get below 105 over a period of time, mm -hmm. this means that uh, we are on the right track. As at the quarter end, 63% uh, of our total business is from motor. Mm -hmm. It used to be as high as about 71. Mm -hmm. While we will see absolute growth in the motor uh, premium, but as uh, our own bid to diversify our business, we would like, if this settles somewhere around 58 to 60 over the immediate term, mm -hmm. but we will stay focused. It's a lifeline on the main product category. We will continue to grow well. Many of these changes only mean that the confidence of the customer in insurers and uh, in health insurance is poised to improve with many of these regulatory changes. Uh, some other changes like constitution of a claims review committee, mm -hmm then um, the uh, timelines for cashless approvals, right. discharge approvals, all these I think augur well for uh, improving the customer confidence in insurance. Mm -hmm. um, we certainly would like to grow faster in uh, health insurance mm -hmm. and from the present level of about 15%, we would like to take it up to at least 20% of our total business composition. Right, but of course even as we speak about health, there's a whole debate raging on over you know the GST imposed on health insurance itself with the many voices calling for it to be completely abolished 18 uh, percent even Nitin Gadkari himself right the finance minister Nirmala Sitharaman can I just get you on your take with regard to taxing the uncertainties on health and life and thereon uh, surely something that you feel the government can work around look at it this way if it can help the customer to buy a larger quantum of health insurance it does uh, certainly help him so uh, if that money paid on GST for that 18% could be used to uh, position and buy for a higher level of cover, mm -hmm. I'm sure it will help the Indian citizens uh, in a large way.